Hello everyone. I have some updates. But first, I have a little cat that wants some attention. So I'm going to pick him up and introduce him. Come here. This is Squeaky. Want a kiss? Give me a kiss. Yes, oh. He's been bugging me. What? 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 Oh. Yeah. Okay. Squeaky. The reason why he's called Squeaky is because he doesn't actually meow very much. He just squeaks. Okay? Oh, yeah. Okay. You want to get down here? Squeaky. Squeak. Okay. Okay. Down you go. Okay. Whew. He's a pretty good cat. Okay. Let's see. Exciting things. Um, I finished number five and number six of the Jada and Stitches blankets for 2017 or 2019. So let's see. Oh. Here's number five, and here's number six. And this is the one that has the variegated yarn, and I have to tell you, when I was working on this, this variegated yarn is pretty rough, and I just felt like it was sandpaper, and then I got to this blue, and I was like, oh. Even though they're both red heart, the blue is so much softer. So, anyhow, I've uh, got those done. And I'm thinking, you know, I don't know what the appliques are, the other ones that she's going to have, but eventually she's going to have the border assignment. And I'm just thinking, if that's the last thing she does in December, that's going to put me in kind of a tight crunch uh, for getting these out for Christmas gifts or whatever. So I'm just going to go ahead and make borders uh, on the blankets that I have. And I'll show them to you as I get them done. Um, but that way, when she gives the November assignment, then I will be done pretty quickly. So whatever her border is, it's fine. A border is a border. So... Uh, I'll just do that. Then, oh, oh, I was not completely prepared. Hang on. Little oh, squeaky. Oh, sorry. Okay, I said I was going to make a little bee for a friend, a little bee keychain, and. Before I had used a pattern, the last one I made for her, and I just decided, you know what, I can just wing it. I can figure it out. Uh, I'll just do one of my own. So, um, well, the first one, it kind of, um, the body shape is right. The head shape, not quite right. And so then I thought, well, I'll put a little cap on him, and it just got worse and worse, and it looked like a, a little bee feeder's hat after a while. It looks like a little musky bee. Um, one thing I did do was take that real fuzzy yarn and just loosely weave it around. Uh, I didn't even do the, the front loops only thing because... I, even when it's black yarn, it's just so hard to see what you're doing in the first place. So I just wove it around. So it does give that nice feel, but then I decided I didn't really like it. But anyways, okay, so that was a prototype. And, okay, so I didn't finish him. But then I redid it, and I have to redo it again uh, just to make sure I, I wrote down everything right. And this is the little bee. Oops, come on, turn. There, she, there it is. Okay, so that's the front. And then the little wings are in the back. So. And these little keychain things I got from China. I, I don't remember how much they were. It was a pack of, I think, 100 for, I don't know, maybe $5 or something. I, 
I really don't buy any of this stuff from Michael's or Joanne's, all directly from China. And then I've gone through so much yarn, yay, uh, that I treated myself to a couple new skeins of yarn that I got off eBay, which, you know, I don't get great prices, but um, I don't get to the store either, so I just do what I can. Just So this is what I got. A couple of uh, Super Saver Ombres. This one is Sea Coral, and this one is Scuba. So it's got really nice colors. I already have an idea of what to do with this one. And I have an idea of something I want to do with this one, but I need to make sure I get another skein or two to make sure I have enough yarn. But anyway, so those are my two new yarn purchases. And then a, a totally non-yarny thing. Um, I was on eBay and uh, my my china pattern popped up with an item that I looked for, and it's very hard to find. I've only ever seen two of them, and that is this little coffee cup with the feet. You can see. Now, one of them came up a couple months ago, and I didn't grab it fast enough. And when this one was by it now, I just grabbed it. Uh, so, now the thing with this one, as you can see, here's the inside pattern. And I'll show you one that's not footed like that. This one just has a nice little round foot. Same pattern. Different handle, though. And uh, I should say these are all bone china. Um, and this one, because it's footed, has a different pattern number. It is the same pattern, though, uh, as you can see. Um, they came out with different pattern numbers uh, for different uh, parts of the set. Like there's a, a, a dressing table set of little things, little trays and boxes. That has a completely different number. Now what's interesting is I do have one little tiny demi test cup uh, that's footed. It's the only one I've ever seen that's like that. But then, uh, and you can see there's that pattern. Then I found, I saw this one also a demi test cup. It's not quite the same, but it is the same pattern. Still got the double roses and the little forget-me-nots in between. So I just grabbed it. I said, okay, they don't perfectly match, but yet they do match. So anyways. Um, okay, so there's your little thing. Oh, and, and this, uh, let's see this one here. This coffee cup that's footed is post-1920. How old it is, I don't know exactly, but uh, after 1920. Like I, I said in a previous video, I don't know when they stopped making this pattern, but I would say maybe in the 40s or the 50s, so it's still an old cup, and it's still bone china. Okay, um, let's see. Uh, one thing I can say is um, I didn't uh, end up using any of the Fentex yarn on the previous blanket because I found enough uh, leftover um, Red Heart Blue, a light blue, to do the sky on the last blanket. Even though I, I had two different balls of it. And when I say balls, some people call this a ball. I don't call this a ball. I call this a skein. This is a ball. Okay? I balled it up. Um, so I had two balls of uh, the Red Heart Light Blue. And um, one of them slightly different color than the other one. Although they were both the same. So I didn't care. I didn't care. It's going for a little girl. She won't care. Um... 
Okay, let's see. Uh, so I think my next project is probably the Jada and Stitches 2017 calendar blanket with the 12 different squares and hopefully I'll start on that tonight. Um, and so that's about it for this one. I actually made a little list this time so I wouldn't forget stuff. Um, you know, tomorrow I have that uh, a lunch for the friend who has the birthday that I made the little keychain for in the sun and the afghan. And I'm sort of thinking, okay, one of the three things has to go because another friend who's there has a birthday next month and I don't have that much stuff for her birthday. So I'm kind of thinking of putting off the afghan part until later um, like maybe Christmas but we'll see we'll see what happens tomorrow and I'll talk to you later bye